What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Wings Top Hoppy back at you guys today with another video. Today's video is just going to be a recent pickup video. I know I haven't made a video in two weeks, but I have picked up some stuff, picked up one of my favorite sneakers of the year, picked up a bunch of new hats and a fleece. So I figured why not show it off with you guys in one video. But before we get into these pickups, please hit the like, subscribe, and feel free to go follow me down on Instagram down below. See how I style all my sneakers and outfits. I've already worn New Balances in a fit pick. I already wore a fleece in a fit pick. Some of these hats I've already worn a fit pick. So if you want to see how I style it, I can't emphasize this enough. Go check out my Instagram. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. The first pickup we have here is the Joe Fresh Goods New Balance 990 V3. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of 990 V3. And also, I'm from the Chicagoland area, big fan of Joe Fresh Goods, so this shoe was a no-brainer for me. I did strike out when they, these dropped at retail, which sucks because I hate paying resale. But this is one of those shoes that I haven't paid resale the whole year. Well, maybe on the Selehe Ben Brace, I forgot about those. But I've only paid resale twice this whole year, including these, so figured why, I figured why not. Also, I figured these would be going up in price soon, so I wanted to buy these sooner rather than later because a year from now, these could be $600 and I was not gonna spend over $400 on these, no way. But I will have to say, these are so fire in person. This blue absolutely pops so nicely in person. Pictures did definitely not do this shoe justice. Also, I love the blue laces. They did come with a few different lace options. However, I felt the blue looked the best in this shoe. Also, I really like the insole as well. Joe Fresh Goods outside clothes. And also just the hits of lime green are really fire. I love the way Joe put all these colors together. Did a really good job. Definitely a unique color combination. We're definitely one of those head turners. People see these and be like, wow, that's a New Balance. I didn't think they would do something of this like colorway. So definitely really unique colorway. The only, the only negative thing I do have to say about this shoe is that since I did order them from StockX, unfortunately, I did not get the special box. I just got the Made in USA box. They did do a special box for USA release pairs or pairs that release in the United States. However, like the European and the overseas pairs were just in the standard made box. So yeah, it's unfortunate I didn't get the special box, but like I said in my previous videos, you don't wear the box, you only wear the shoes. I'm super excited about those New Balance 990 V3s and definitely one of the best New Balance collabs this year. My second pickup comes from the Uniqlo White Mountaineering. Now I did do a full video on this Mountaineering collaboration. However, after that video, I went back and picked up the black fleece and I had to pick up the black one just because I love that tan one so much. And for $40, I figured, why not? I mean, this was a no-brainer for me. Very good piece for winter. And $40, you can't really go wrong. And when I like something a lot, I feel like I have to buy like a few more colorways just because I like it so much. And definitely with this collaboration, I knew it was going to sell out. And then they're going to be reselling later down the road. So I figured, why not pick this up for $40? before it sells out. So yeah, just another Uniqlo White Mountaineering fleece. I believe they might have a few of these left in stock, so feel free to go check out Uniqlo because definitely, like I said in my review, I definitely recommend picking up those pieces for winter because they're super nice, super affordable, and you can't really go wrong with any of the options from that collaboration. That's here, I'm just gonna run through these. I know I've done fitted pickups in the past before, so I figured why not? show you guys my recent fitted hat pickups. We got these hats here, so let's just go through them real quick. Our first hat is gonna be the Chicago Bulls hat from Lids. I'm back on the Bulls bandwagon. Bulls have been playing some great basketball lately, which is def which definitely hasn't been happening in the past few seasons, so the Bulls are back, and I had the support. Off-white Bulls hat. This is actually a collaboration between Mitchell and Ness and Lids, so Lids is where I picked this one up. I love the script Chicago, love the off-white crown, red bill baby blue uv super dope hat and yeah like i said i had to support the bulls because playing good basketball jumping on the bandwagon next hat is also from lids this is from the irish coffee collection as you can see this is a chicago cubs hat cubs alternate logo 100 year anniversary side patch cream on their visor super fire hat super clean and the best thing about these lids pickups is that I'm able to get these in store and I get to use my lids access code. So these hats retail for 45 and I get them for 33 with the discount. And I know a lot of these hats are super popular. People are reselling them. So definitely happy 
that I was able to go into my lid store and they had stock because I know, like I said, these are super popular and good job by lids. Next hat is the Chicago Cubs Rust Belt Collection, also from Lids. This one was a hot commodity because you got everyone's favorite Cubs logo with everyone's favorite patch. Super dope colorway too. You got like a caramel brown tan upper on the crown, black brim, and then you got this copper UV. And the copper around this Cubs logo pops so much. Definitely a nice hat. And I got super lucky with this one because they only had three left at Lids when I went and one happened to be in my size. So just the luck of the Irish, honestly, with this one. I was honestly thinking about paying resale for this hat, but luckily I don't have to think about that anymore because I was able to get super lucky in store. Next Cubs hat is not from Lids, but it's from Sports World Chicago. Now this is not the Sports World in New York, this is Sports World Chicago. Basically it's just like a Cubs store across from Wrigley Field, and they did a collection of like custom Cubs hats. And they did a really good job because this hat, if Hat Club would have dropped this hat, this would probably be like a $200 hat on the resale market, which is just like crazy to think about because that's where like the Hat Club hype is right now. And like this hat is super fire, but like I said, if this would have been a Hat Club hat, people would have went absolutely nuts for it probably. Alternate Cubs logo, not sure what year this is from by the way. You got that 1990 side patch that everyone loves, black crown, Royal blue visor, baby blue UV, absolutely a well done hat. Definitely goes with the Joe Fresh Goods New Balances as well. And I was definitely happy I was able to pick this one up. Now speaking of Hat Club, my next last two hat purchases are from Hat Club. And I was able to get these because I feel like both these hats went under the radar. No one was really feeling them. So I was able to pick these up pretty easily when they dropped. And this is the Chicago Cubs Cool Fall Fashion in the Chicago Bears colorway. As you guys know by now, probably if you've been watching my videos, I'm a Cubs and a Bears fan. So this hat is just a no brainer for me. 1941 Cubs logo, 100 year anniversary patch, green under visor, which really sets this hat off for me. Really like that they chose the green under visor. Just gives it kind of like a retro feel. I'm not the biggest fan of this Cubs logo, but it is what it is. If they would have done that 1980s bear logo on this, I feel like this would be one of the more popular hats out of the Cool Fall Fashion Collection. But definitely an interesting Cubs logo. Definitely sparks conversations. I wear this hat out and people are like, what kind of hat is that? Because not a lot of people know about this Cubs logo. And honestly, I didn't know about it either until I got in the hats and I saw Hat Club was using this logo. So definitely a cool little like piece or a cool little hat that gets people talking because everyone asks like what kind of logo is that and they think it's like a bears logo but then they see the cubs patch and they get a little confused definitely a cool hat cool collector item last hat from hat club is this colorado rockies crunch bar inspired if you guys follow hats you know that hat club did a little halloween pack i went ahead and picked up the crunch bar one i wanted the peanut m m twins hat but unfortunately it sold out so i had to settle for this one I feel like they did a really good job with this hook. It looks exactly like a crunch bar. Also, this hat is super wearable. I feel like out of the candy pack, this one was one of the more wearable ones because some of those colorways, they're just really hard to wear and they're kind of loud. So definitely this one, I feel like it's, it's blue and red, pretty easy to wear, a lot of different outfits. Also, I love the detail they added, adding the brown into this Inagra All Season patch. It really just brings out this patch a lot. And just, like I said, it just is a much needed detail really good job really good idea just a basic gray uv nothing crazy there but yeah super clean rockies hat once again people always ask be like what kind of hat is this because it's kind of funny that when people who aren't in the hats they're like those aren't the rockies colors like what what's what's the meaning behind it and they're like oh yeah it's a crunch bar just a little funny but anyways that's gonna do it for the pickups let me know what you guys think about my recent pickups Joe Fresh Goods New Balance, where's the rank in the New Balance collabs this year? Or what was your favorite hat I picked up? But anyways, it is your boy, Wingstop Poppy. I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.